Let's take another look at converting between radians and degrees. So if you click the mode button, you want to check what mode you're in for degree measurement. It's typical that the calculator will be in radian mode to begin with. So let's start with radians. Okay, so if you're in radian mode, what you can do is enter in any degree measurement, let's say 45, and classify it as a degree since you're in radian mode. You can do that by going to your angle button. For me, it's second apps. Select the first choice here, the little degree or angle sign. And what you basically told the calculator is that 45, this number, is in degrees. But remember, you're in radian mode. So if you press enter, you'll automatically convert to radians. So here we have a conversion from degrees to radians. And if you go to your mode and switch this process to degree, you can actually do the reverse. Let's say I have this number with its second answer, and we go to our angle again and pick the third choice. See the little R for radians? If we pick that, we get the measurement in degrees, right? Now we're in degree mode. You're entering something in radians, and what you get in return are degrees. You can, of course, enter this using pi. Just make sure you use your parentheses correctly. So if I enter second pi, over 4, it's important that I enter the whole thing in parentheses, otherwise um, you might get the wrong result. So now you've entered something in radians, right? And you want to convert to degrees. So you hit second angle, pick your radians mark there. Now the calculator knows this is in radians, but you're in degree mode. So by pressing enter, it'll convert it to degrees. Alright, hope this helped.